this video is about some questions. First question is about bucking. It's about a mare that bucks when you ride her bareback, and when you put the saddle, she doesn't buck or air up or, or do anything bad at all. Like she gives you a very good result with the saddle, but when you ride her bareback, she bucks even when many riders, different riders, rode her bareback. She gave them the same result. Why is that happening? In my opinion, it's weird. Like it's an exception. Usually horses do the opposite. Buck when you ride them with a the saddle more because of the saddle girth. Because of the belt in the saddle. They feel the pressure of the girth or the belt, so it's not natural for them, so they buck it off their back or they buck to make it fall from their back or make the rider fall or buck you off their back because of the girth, not because of you. But when you ride bareback and she bucks, that's weird. Especially if, he do, if she does it with so many riders or different riders. Now, in my opinion, maybe there is pain, as I said before, maybe there is pain in the back area that she feels when you ride bareback. Although, in my opinion, it will not be the main or real reason, in my opinion. Why? It's very simple. Because if there is a pain in the back and she feels it when you ride bareback, in my opinion, she will feel it when you ride with the saddle. Like, think about it. When you ride with the saddle, you put the pressure on the stirrup. The stirrup is connected to the girth of the saddle, which means it will pull the saddle down on the area that she feels the pain at or in. So when I ride her bareback, she feels the pain. When I ride her, ride her with the saddle, she will feel the pain. So if it's happening because of some pain in her back, in my opinion, she should buck at least a little bit with the saddle. If she's not bucking at all with the saddle, and she's totally bucking bareback, that means, in my opinion, she has bad experience with bareback in the past. Maybe she connects between bareback and bad ways of riding. Spurs, whipping, hitting, whatever. Or uh, trying to hold yourself on her back in a bad way or wrong way. Like we said, horses connect between the starting gates and what you did to make them go inside. Connect between the trailer and what you did to make them go inside. So maybe she connects between bareback and what they did to her in the past. So you have to erase, delete, eliminate that by letting her know I will not do what they did. And with time, she will start to like and love bareback more. Now, in my opinion, think about it, maybe, in my opinion, that might be, or could be, a main reason, or the main reason for bucking. When you ride bareback, nothing is holding you on the horse's back. With the saddle, your legs are in the stirrup. So, the saddle is holding you on her back. So, so your legs are loose. When you ride her bareback, maybe your legs are loose, but when she plays, if you are, uh, not very good with bare back, you will use your legs to hold yourself, hold your body on her back or on her body. When you hold your body on the horse's body by using your legs, horses will fear that. It's very scary for them. It's like a lion, a tiger jumping on their back. So immediately they buck and air up. That's why she's bucking. If it's just playing or having fun, she will air up. Why does she buck? Bucking means get off my back. Rearing up, bolting, running away could be playing and could be for a bad reason. But bucking means get off my back, especially if she keeps bucking you off. Sometimes horses give you one or two bucks, it's normal. But if she keeps bucking or he keeps bucking, they want you off their back. There must be a reason. Maybe that is a main reason, in my opinion, uh, when with bad riders or should I say with uh, riders who are not very good with bareback riding. When they ride bareback, your legs are loose. But when he's afraid... When she wants to play, when she gives you some actions and uh, wants to buck. Before bucking, you use your legs to stay on her back. She feels that, she bucks. Like she expected you to use your legs to stay on her back, and she was right. That's why she bucked you, or tried to buck you off her back. Uh, uh, the solution, my friend, is very simple. As I said before, look for the reason for the problem. Solve the problem, but look for the reason must know what is the reason. Is it pain? Is it a uh, bad experience? Is it uh, a mistake by me, not by the horse? So it depends. In this case, it cannot be a mistake from one rider because you say so many riders rode the mare and they got the same results. Even some of them were good riders. So maybe it's bad experience in the past. You have to uh, delete that by giving her new good experience. Make her believe that some people are better than others, uh, some people will not do what happened to her in the past. And with time, she will connect between bareback and good things instead of connecting between bareback and bad things. 
although it's an exception. Usually, more than 70% of horses hate the saddle more when it comes for bucking. That's a fact. Like, uh, I remember that I used to start uh, horses or break horses in the past. I break and start without the saddle, bareback. But I used to put the saddle first, then ride her bareback. Because many people said or said to me that she must know the saddle first or she will buck you off her back. I believed them. But with time, I said to myself, if she accepts my body on her back, it cannot be right that she wants or needs the saddle first. She accepts the rider. She doesn't need a, need a saddle before the rider. So I tried with one, two, three, ten horses. They gave me the same result without even seeing the saddle. They accepted me on their back. When I put the saddle, they don't buck. Although it's the first time, because they accept my body on their back. Of course they will accept the saddle. But maybe the girth, or the saddle girth, the saddle belt, might be uncomfortable for them. A horse that you ride every day bareback will feel uncomfortable with the belt, with the girth, for one or two or three days. So maybe he will buck. But immediately he will stop if you train him in a good way. But if we look at horses who are trained in a bad way, and the riders ride them bareback and with a saddle, usually the horses who buck more are the horses who buck with the saddle. So it's an exception. In my opinion, it could be pain in the back, although I don't think so. Because if there is pain in the back, it should be uh, bareback and with the saddle too. So I don't think it's pain. Maybe it's bad experience. Maybe it's an action that riders do when they ride her bareback. Which is, in my opinion, in this case, or in that case, uh, collecting or using your legs to hold yourself on her body. Which is completely normal. With many riders. Maybe she hates it, so you try to let her know that I will never use my legs to stay or to sit on her back. So maybe... Uh, that will make her get better with time. The most important thing in my opinion, as I said before, the hand. Buck, rear, boat. I don't care what the horse did or will do or is doing. It's very simple. If you react to what he's doing in a good way, he keeps getting better, no matter what. If you react, if you react to what he's doing in a wrong way, he keeps getting worse. So even when she's bucking, let her know that the hand did not hurt her. The hand did not cause her any pain. With time, she keeps getting better because I'm bucking off. I'm bucking, bucking the rider off my back. Why are you bucking me off your back? I want you off my back. So if I did not fall down and I did not use strength, that means the reason that made you buck is gone. You cannot make me fall down and I did not use strength. So why should you buck? The reason for bucking is gone or the reasons for bucking are gone. So she, she will stop. So always think about that. No matter what the horse did, do or will do, your hand reaction should be always the same. I never use strength and I never just throw that in and let him do whatever he wants because he will buck me off his back in that way because it's wrong. Uh, I will be with the horse, with the mouth, not in front of the horse, not behind him, with him. Just like leading. So that's my opinion about uh, this issue. Although in my opinion, it's an exception. It's a rare thing that happens with horses. Usually it's completely the opposite. So that's my opinion, of course. It could be for so many reasons, so I don't know. But in my opinion, it could be one of the main reasons, or the main reason, is uh, uh, collecting your legs or using your legs to stay on her back. Or maybe a bad reaction with the hand. Maybe. I don't think so. But at the end, I think it's the leg. Using the leg to stay on her back. Or the bad experience in the past. Like you are using your legs to stay on her back. Or people in the past used their legs to stay on her back. And that made her connect between what they did and what you are doing. You're not doing something wrong, but they did. So she connects between what they did and what you are doing. So maybe. But again, fix your hand and with time she will uh, fix what she's doing and keeps getting better. The second question is from Juliana about uh, horses when they gallop or canter or walk or trot next to each other. Some horses don't want to move in front of other horses. They want to move with uh, next to the other horses or near the other horses or behind them, not in front of them. Why is that happening? In my opinion, that's a, a true thing, and it's very simple. It's not because they are cowards, because they are not brave enough. No, it's very simple. When I am walking next to you, fighting you, shouting at you, screaming at you, you can fight back. Either you are more brave or weaker or stronger, you can fight back. So if you are feeling, feeling comfortable to move in front of me, with me, or behind me, it's okay. You can fight back. But imagine that I am doing that to you, and you are carrying someone on your back. It's harder to fight back. Imagine again that that someone on your back is trying to do things to you while using strength to stay on your back. So you have to deal with him 
the person or the child, let's say, on your back and the person who's fighting you. So you want to deal with the person on your back first, then you want to fight the person who's standing or walking next to you. So it's not about being brave or being a coward. It's very simple. They can fight. That's why mares can fight. Foals can fight. Phillies can fight alone. If you don't interfere in my nature, I can move in front of the horses, with the horses, behind the horses. But the problem is I cannot do it when you are using strength on my back. You're not letting me deal with the other standing, with the other horse. I cannot fight back. Alone I can do it. With you I cannot. That's why with good riders I can and actually I can fight more. Because the rider will help me more. Not just fighting the other stallion or the other horse. I'm fighting the other horse and the rider is helping me. I'm not saying fighting, hitting, but like I can react to his bad actions. If he bites, I will bite. If he's threatening me, I can threaten him. So uh, it's very simple. Other horses threat other horses next to them and tell them do not move in front of us. Move with me or behind me. Do not move in front of me. The horse can do it. But if the horse is threatening me, and you're not letting me uh, react to his uh, threats or act uh, uh, actions or reactions or moves that he's doing to me. I have to deal with you first, then get to the stallion and deal with him, to the other horse and deal with him. So horse, people think it's the problem, uh, uh, or the people think the problem is in the horse. The horse is the problem, he's a coward, he's not brave. No, it's very simple. The problem is in you, not in the horse. All horses, weak, Strong, brave, and coward horses, although there are no coward horses in my opinion, but in a common general way, all horses will fight back. They can fight back if they want. But if you let them do it, if I trust you enough, that, that means I can deal with the horse without uh, caring about the rider on my back, because he will not use strength, he will not interfere in what I'm doing. But if I am on the horse's back, uh, using strength, how can I let the horse deal with the other horses? Like, if I take the rope off his neck, off his head, and move away, he's moving next to me, like that, behind me, or next to me, or in front of me, because he can bite me, he can play with me, he can do whatever he wants, like that. But imagine while he's doing that, someone else is using strength to stop him. You see, he's moving next to me, behind me, in front of me. He's comfortable, because he can't deal with me if I did something wrong, or did something uh, right. He can give me a good or a bad reaction depending on my action. But imagine at this time someone else is using strength with him. What will happen? He will try to move behind me or next to me, not in front of me, or moves away from me. So it's happening because of people, not because of riders. The second uh, reason, my opinion, especially with stallions, stallions do tell other horses do not move in front of me. That's why when you ride a stallion in a good way, he will scare other horses. Other horses, when uh, they ride with you or uh, go out in a ride with you, will fear your stallion, not because he's strong, because he's threatening the other horses, and you, get, you are giving him the right to do that, and you are helping him to do that. The other riders are using strength. They are not controlling their horses, so they think your horse is stronger than their horses. But the fact is, very simple. Your, your way of riding is better than their way of riding. So if my way of riding is better than your way of riding, and I am ride, riding a weaker horse, a coward horse, and you are riding a brave horse, but my way of riding is better, my horse will be more brave than your horse when we just look at them as an outlook. He's threatening your horse, he's fighting your horse, he's beating your horse. Not because he's more brave, because my way of riding is better. It's very simple. Two wrestlers are fighting. One wrestler is much stronger. But while he's fighting, three people are using strength to stop him. Why is he doing that? It's very simple. He's fighting alone, he can win. But with the other people holding me, I have to fight other three people, then fight you. The same goes for riding. The horse is fighting you, then fight the other horses. While he's fighting you, the other horses won, moved in front of him, he's not moving in front of them or whatever. But in a common general way, it's because of us. Now, if you ride the horse in a good way and you make him know or let him know that I can totally control you, front of horses, with horses, behind horses, now you can get the horse to do whatever you want, you can let him choose whatever he wants. After I made him know that I can do whatever he want, I let him choose. Some horses want and love to move in front of horses, some other horses want and like to move with horses, some other horses like and want to move behind horses. So it depends on the horse. But after I did all the three, 
front of horses, with horses, and behind horses. Whenever I tell you to do one of the, these things, you will do it immediately. You will not say no, because he trusts you. After I do that, I let him trust. I let him choose. Like, like I said about uh, riding the horse in a long ride, short ride. Closed place, open place. I do all these things, then give him the right to choose. So move him in front of horses, with horses, behind horses, then let him choose. Is it happening because of the horse? When he's not uh, uh, accepting to move in front of people, it's very, uh, in front of horses, other horses, in racing or in riding, normal riding, it's very simple. Not true. It's not because of the horse. It's because of the rider. Even if the horse is ready for doing it, like he's a coward, he's not brave. Still, if you ride him in a good way, he will move in front of other horses. If you ride a mare with stallions, and you ride her in a good way, she trusts you, she will fight other stallions, she will move in front of them. They are stallions, and she is a mare. If you lead a foal or a filly with other stallions, he will bite them, fight them, because he knows you will protect them. Protect him. Horses know that you will protect them from other horses. That's why they fight back. Like when a foal, some of my videos, the foal is fighting and biting the stallion. The stallion can kill him. Why is the foal fighting? Because I am with him in the paddock. If I go outside, he will run away from the stallion. He's not fighting because he's strong or brave. He's fighting because he knows I can protect him. The same goes for riding. If I am riding with you and the horse knows that I will protect him from the other horse and I will not prevent him from fighting back, fighting back and defending himself, he's comfortable. So he will move with horses, in front of horses, behind horses. But when he wants to move in front of horses, with horses, behind horses, I say no. Give me this, give me that. And all these things, all these results that I'm asking the horse to give me are happening by using strength. So he's fighting you while the other stallion is fighting him. So of course he doesn't want to fight other stallion or uh, get in trouble with other stallions. Not because he's afraid, because he's dealing with an asshole on his back, which is bad rider or a bad rider, or uh, in this case, bad riders. So many, so, so many bad riders or so many assholes. So <laughs> that's my opinion about horses who doesn't move in front of other horses or refuse to move in front of other horses. If the horse is comfortable, he's doing or will do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. Like I'm moving away like that, he's coming to me. If I move again, he's coming back. Imagine while doing that, someone else is using strength. He will not do that. Move to me, move in front of me, next to me, because he's dealing with one guy, one creature. But when I deal with someone on my back, and with other horses, of course I will fear them. Not because of them, because of you. It's very simple. Like we said, horses don't fear the starting gate. They fear us and what we did. Horses don't fear other horses. They fear us and what we did. Of course, horses in nature, in their nature, when they are alone, of course, stallions will prevent other horses to move uh, uh, in front of them if they want. Like if a stallion wants you to move next to him or behind him, and he is the leader of the group, you cannot move in front of him, he will kick your ass. It's very simple, but this is in nature. Well, that's in nature, when they are alone. But with us, when we ride, if you ride in a good way, your horse will dominate other horses. Although he's weaker, he's not more brave or braver than other horses, but still he will dominate because of you, not because of them. They are saying to him, the other horses are saying to him, we are not afraid of you. We are afraid of what you can do, and what you can do is happening, happening because, the guy, because of the guy on your back, not because of you. Like they are saying, it's not you, it's him, the man on your back. The opposite is the same. When the horse is afraid, he's saying, it's not you. I'm not afraid, for, I'm, right, I'm not afraid, or I'm not scared from you as a horse. I'm scared and afraid from the guy on my back using strength. So, uh, it's very simple. Why don't horses move in front of other horses uh, uh, sometimes? Like, uh, your question is, three horses mo moving together, uh, canter, gallop, racing, whatever. One of the horses is not moving in front of other horses. He's refusing to race them, uh, to compete with them, to move in front of them. Why? It's very simple. He's not afraid from the horses. He's afraid from what you are doing. You can run with them, in front of them, behind them, next to them. But while he's doing it, you are using strength, so he's not giving you what you want. Some people will say, I'm riding three horses, three different horses. They are giving me uh, completely different results. It's very simple. Some horses are very sensitive, more sensitive than other horses. So some horses, horses use strength, and they said even when you use strength, we will use strength and move in front of horses or with them or behind them. So we don't care, even if you did something bad. But some other horses say we are very sensitive, we are very light, so we will not you, uh, let you do whatever you want. Again, he wants to move the camera. <laughs> so, uh, 
you could get different results and some horses will move in front of other horses or with them or behind them even when you are doing something something bad because the horse is not very sensitive he's strong he's using strength but still you are doing something wrong so uh, the answer to the question is very simple it's because of us not because of horses it's us not them it's you not them it's me not them it's you or me not him or her as a foal or a filly or a stallion or a male so that's my opinion about these two questions